Nobody borrows you money here. <laughs> Nobody send your papa. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bola Harrison and as always to my existing subscribers, to my new subscribers, to my current viewers, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your engagement on my videos. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for leaving your comments. And above all, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. So today's video, it's not really scripted. Like, <laughs> I don't really know the direction this video is going to take, but I just want it to be as natural as possible. In today's video, I'll be talking about living in Czech Republic as an international student. How do you pay your bills, accommodation, What's the job like? Can you pay your school fees and accommodation while working? Is it possible to balance school and work, working full time or part time? What's your plan? Now, the first thing I'm going to say is that before coming to Czech Republic, you need to make sure that you have all your information correct. It's not as rosy as it is on the, you know, as it, as it looks like on the other side. So if you are in Nigeria or you are back home, you are looking like, ah, this place, okay, the process seems to be kind of like straightforward and less expensive. Yes, but you also have to look at all the other factors. Like if you are coming on a work visa, can the salary conveniently take care of your bills? Like pay for your accommodation and your living expenses. If you're coming as a student and an independent student, can you afford to pay your school fees and then find a job? Now, my advice usually is this. I'm just going to digress. Like I said, I don't know where this video is going to. My advice usually is this. Whatever you are doing, wherever you are going, the first thing is to have enough money for at least, I'm not even going to say one month. Before, I used to say one month. But now, <laughs> everything is now expensive, yeah? The cost of living, accommodation, the cost of food, it's now expensive. I would just say that have enough money for three months, like three months, guys. And for those of you who have been saying, what's the name of your school? I want to come to Aradred. See, if you're coming to Aradred, just have enough money for your accommodation for like if your accommodation contract is for seven months just have your accommodation for seven months like that's it guys like it's not as rosy on the other side so that's for aradere then there are some other universities that their dormitory deposit is like maybe four thousand three thousand i know some people are paying up to like seven thousand k as in check crowns per month it just depends on where you're staying your university and the kind of room that you are looking forward to if you plan to stay outside the dormitory, like you want to rent an apartment outside, you are looking at let's say five hundred to eight hundred euros. Now convert that money to check crowns. You are looking at fifteen thousand, fourteen thousand, eighteen thousand, twenty-three, even up to thirty thousand check crowns per month for accommodation outside dormitory. If it's a studio, you are still going to get something around let's say fifteen thousand check crowns. And if it's a shared apartment, like you have a single room, sometimes even in Prague, you can get like 14,000. Maybe in the other cities like Aradet, Padubisa, you can get like 8,000, 7,000 in a shared apartment. Then in a shared apartment where you still have to stay with somebody else, you get to pay like 5,000 check crowns, 4,000 check crowns. Like it's a shared apartment and a shared room. So like I didn't see any sense in it, like staying in a shared apartment and in a shared room for seven to eight thousand check crowns when my dormitory is just three thousand seven hundred check crowns and I have just one roommate, or I can pay three thousand three hundred or three thousand check crowns or two eight, and I have two other roommates in my room, and the dormitory pays for electricity, and you have you know washing um um laundry facilities at a very low like at a very affordable price for student like everything is just making sense because then you are like giving everything so it didn't it didn't make sense or it doesn't make sense to want to stay outside the dormitory unless you don't really have a choice so you can get a shared room in a shared apartment or a shared room in a sh uh, like a uh, single room in a shared apartment or you can get a studio or a one bedroom apartment it just depends now if you're planning to bring your family later on when you arrive in czech republic you are going to be looking at accommodation for family yeah and sometimes you have to get like um two bedroom apartments and maybe some landlord will allow you one bedroom i don't know what the standard from the ministry of interior is but i will assume that let's say a one bedroom apartment or a two bedroom apartment it depends on the city 
in Aradret, you are looking at, let's say, 25, 23, 20,000 check crowns, because I know of someone who got a studio for 10,000 check crowns. So you are looking at 10,000 for a studio, um, 18, 15, 18, 20 for a one bedroom apartment, and sometimes a two bedroom apartment for 20 or 25 and above. <laughs> so that should just give you an idea of what you should be spending. Now, are you going to be able to earn up to 10,000 check crowns per month? If you get a job that pays you one around 50 check crowns per hour, so you have to multiply that by 20. I'm going with the, with the, with the official work hour for students. Um, let's say you work um, one, one, 20 hours and you have 150 check crowns. That's like about 3,000 check crowns, I think so, per week. So in a month, you have like 12,000 check crowns. So you are paying 10,000 for accommodation. You have just 2,000 check crowns left. Yes, if you are not a big spender, it should be enough to get all your groceries and everything. But what's left? Like what's left you want to save? So if you're staying in a shared room, shared apartment, you're paying like, let's say four to 5,000 check crowns. You have like 7,000 left, which is still good money, which is still okay. If you're staying in dormitory and you are paying 3,000 check crowns or three, five to 4,000, subtract it like do the math the math should math <laughs> so just to give you an idea of it so you, whatever you're doing your calculation should be let your math be matching like whether for that math or geometry let it just align with these calculations like nobody borrows you money here hmm. nobody send your papa like i don't even think that there's anybody that even dash people money here so it's not and why people don't understand the concept of help me out <laughs> we'll pay later it might work it might work with some other people but personally i they are not the kind of people that in africa you play with emotions they're like oh please i am my father is my father's grandmother is sick or something like you just have to be be able to pay your bills like nobody cares if your grandmother in the village is dying like basically you just have to unless you have a very sympathetic landlord yeah but but nobody is going to come to your rescue that you expect that you have this money as an international student and as, a, as an international student in Czech Republic, eh, they believe that for you to leave Africa all the way to come to Europe, ah, money go there your hand, though. So, <laughs> like, it might seem funny, but then you have to, like, do all this basic calculation. Transportation, for me, transportation is not really um, much of a big deal because, for, for instance, right now, when I'm in, when I'm in Aradret, I only move around Aradret, unless when I, when I want to go sightseeing and I just decide to like tour around and still whatever I spend, I convert to Euro, then I convert to Nera, but I don't really do the Nera conversion, right? I do check to Euro, Euro to check crowns. That's what I basically do. By the time you're busy with school, with work, if you're working, then you are really around your, your main city. You might not really have to spend so much on transportation. So transportation is really, for me, not too expensive. Yeah, it's not really too expensive because in Aradret, 20 check crowns, I think, or 10 check crowns, I can't really remember. Like, like I said, I, I went out a lot and you get tickets, like you can buy your tickets in bulk at this 20 check crowns. So 20 check crowns is like, is like 370. Like I don't do the calculation in, in Nera. <laughs> so transportation is not really much of a big deal i don't really think it's much of a big deal like to count as a major 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 expense but you see the accommodation and feeding you will pick things and before you know it when you want to check out you are hearing 500 check crowns 400 check crowns three something check crowns maybe that's just me anyways <laughs> but um these are the things you have to do and as a lady you want to make your hair like oh my god don't even get let me get started on skincare and making your hair and anything here don't even let me get started so all those things you are calculating you have to make sure that you have the money either in era or in euro or in check crowns to fund your stay for three months now for english language there are people that speak english there are people from different walks of life in czech republic there are germans there are russians ukraine people from um, ukraine ukrainians they are slovakians i don't know what they call them but there are people from different places here and people speak English because I get the question a lot like, um, do they speak English? Do the local interact with you? I've never had any, uh, personally, I've never had any issue of racism. Like I've, I've not. And when I talk to them, I'm like, oh, hello, do you speak English? Uh, um, I say it in their language, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't want to speak it. Like I ask them in their language if they understand English. And sometimes when they speak to me, I tell them in their language that I don't speak English. Like they tell you to, 
if they don't understand english they tell you if you don't understand czech and somebody asks you something you have to i say it back in czech language i just make sure that i learned those little phrases so english yes you see people that speak english you see people who don't speak english that is not a disadvantage i mean come on it's their country and they have their own official language so it's for me it's not a disadvantage you just have to either learn the language learn the basic learn some little phrases or stick to people that understand english consigning uh integrating learning the language before i left nigeria i was using duolingo and duolingo helped me a lot right sometimes when i was filling forms online or in school i see some familiar phrases and it helped me so learning the basic not like I, the basic language I, sometimes it's easy to learn on duolingo but when they speak to you trust me <laughs> it's very hard to comprehend so but learn the languages like male female like i said i don't understand english do you understand english can you speak english where is the exit where is this place where like where who what why all of those things like so that when someone is saying it like those basic things like basic conversations with people from the airport down to your university you will meet people who speak english and you meet people who don't speak english so just to make your life easier for you another thing is that people ask okay what's the what's a good salary in check for me a good salary will be something that pays your accommodation conveniently that takes care of your feeding allowance that as a lady you can buy your basic toiletries you can buy your skincare products you can feed without like worries for me if i have food and eh, see every other thing is secondary <laughs> i make sure i had noodles i make sure i had milk i make sure i had bread i make sure i had spaghetti rice granola oil uh just like the basic so that the time when i don't have money like i will eat and i'll still look fresh and pink you get you get it so Another thing is also buying your food when you have excess. If you work this month and you have excess, you pay your bills and everything. I stock up when I have more money. It's not like I have more money. Mainly I have cash. The first thing I do, I stock up. It doesn't matter if I have that thing before, maybe in one or two quantity. I just buy extra for like rainy days because it can be rainy days any day. <laughs> so a good salary should be something that pays your accommodation conveniently. For me, try by all means to get dormitory in the university. It's I think it's cheaper. Electricity is taken care of. The heater, like I turn my heater on. Like <laughs> I don't care about the bills. Um, the school has a Wi-Fi. The dormitory has a Wi-Fi, so you have internet. You have yeah, some private buildings also provide you with internet. You have to pay some. It's free, but it's already calculated inside your rent. So you have internet, you have electricity, you have cheap laundry services, you have other services. Like when I couldn't find the lock to my box, right? It was the um, repair person or the, the secretary for the dormitory that, that we had to look for a way to open my box. Like imagine I was living in a private house and who did I want, like whose door would I knock for things? So, and then when I, when I, when I moved in, I met other students, got knives, got things to use. Like that's the beauty of living in the dormitory. You have people to hang out with you are not alone so it's less depressing it's less lonely and trust me i'm going to come back to that later so that's that's just the basic salary cover your rent you see that rent is very important because god no go shame us you don't god no go shame us let me just leave it there cover your rent cover your feeding if you don't even have money to go to the pub to drink beer to do beer is even cheap so if you don't have money to do like big guy or big guy but just make sure you have food in your house i don't know why i keep emphasizing food when you have food and shelter i think that basically other things are going to follow clothing you can still wear what you have like i mean who's looking at you trust me who's looking at you except maybe your other community of people but nobody cares for you where so food and shelter taken care of you're good to go just make sure you still have enough i mentioned that in dormitory you have people to hang out with it's really important because trust me trust me trust me it can't be depressing it can't be oh, you get nostalgic you get homesick you get you sometimes you talk to people like they don't understand you you want that familiar that comfort like when i when i met with people from ghana namibia tanzania uh, what's the other place zimbabwe i was so happy like it didn't matter that they were not from nigeria i was so happy to get a familiar person and when i met one person from nigeria trust me it was it was epic because i was super super happy like i was super happy because then you have people to talk with to relate with and another thing is don't keep to yourself here by the time you begin to keep to yourself 
sadness will creep in oh my god loneliness will creep in you don't even want to imagine so guys it's not rosy it's not rosy over here another thing i'm going to say is this it's not like when you come in a week you get a job some people are lucky people's grace differ i say a lot don't use your grace to compare another person or another person's grace to compare yours people's grace differ some people can come here in one week they get a job in one month they get a job some people are not picky so they do anything that is available some people want to you know relax feel fly find a good job make start working full time or something i believe that for me whatever you see at the moment if you can do it do it i mean like go around look around don't be closed up to yourself talk to people ask questions look around and all of that but it doesn't mean that mainly you get here you will find a job i mean it's not so easy and it differs for everybody and it differs according to the city you live in also like if you live in a in a city that is i don't know and your skills it just differs it's not the same for everybody yes it differs now another thing is having enough money when you come you have to change nera to euro euro to check crowns like have enough money please <laughs> god no go shame us so you don't come to another man's land and become and you become a nuisance and then people start using you to catch crews on twitter and instagram so god no go shame us so that's just it for me about czech republic i'm just going to say that it's not easy from the appointment to the visa to approval to moving i think that when you get the appointment that's even like a step closer but coming here is another problem on its own accommodation is expensive it's not an english-speaking place for me i say it again that's not a disadvantage so um being able to cope being able to find a job working full-time all of those things are things that it's a gradual process you don't expect to come to another place that you've not been maybe people have traveled me this is my first time living in africa living in nigeria and for me it was like it took me like months to adapt i'm still adapting i'm still adapting i'm still getting to know the environment and the people i've not faced racism i've lived fine I sleep, I wake up, I have peace of mind, there's electricity, there's there's internet, I'm fine, there's good water, I go out, I come in. Life is inexpensive and again, it's just me. So I'm just one person. So it's like easier to take care of my bills and myself. I feel like I've spoken too much. Now, the last thing I'm going to say, can your salary pay your school fees? It's back to the same question of whatever you're earning, whatever you're earning, make sure it caters for your bills. But don't be picky. So if you're staying in a school dormitory, you can just find something to do for the main time and just sort out your bills immediately. Also, bear in mind that in your second year of your program, if you're a master's student or a bachelor's or PhD, you will still show proof of fund again. So you will still pay insurance. All of these things are things you have to really, really take your, uh, take your time to calculate. Can you cope? Can you manage? Would you get help? I mean, help could be mental, but you see that financial help, it's, it goes a long way too, guys. It goes a long way. So for... For me, that's just basically all the rants and banks I want to say about living in Czech Republic. So, guys, see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>